Welcome back viewers. When you install this Yoast SEO plugin, which is the best plugin, again I'm telling you for WordPress SEO, then you can see here uh, at left side in the sidebar you will see the SEO link and there are some other options for uh, this plugin. So we'll discuss each option here separately. So uh, first of all I will click the general option. There is nothing to do about this option. Now here above you can see four tabs. The first tab is your info. In your info you just need to write your website name and then in any alternative name about your site and you can select the person or company whether this website is managed by a person or a company I said person and then put your name or company name here and then click save changes the next option is webmaster tools in this webmaster tools option you can actually add the verification codes and verification IDs like uh, from Google search console uh, uh, and from B Bing Webmaster Tools and Google Webmaster Tools you can get your meta tag and you can insert that meta tag or the verification key here and this will verify actually your Webmaster Tools uh, options I mean the your site in uh, Google Webmaster Tools so basically uh, I will tell you about this later on in the Google Webmaster section but the next option here is the security which should be by default disabled and you should not touch it because if you uh, do it then if, if, if you are basically managing your site uh, and you don't have any other uh, I mean authors and editors then you should not disable I mean you should keep this disable if you have multiple authors which you don't trust then you can just uh, remove this option from here so this will actually uh, you know secure your site from other editors and authors now the next option here after general there is titles and metas so this is very important option when you click this you will find s total six tabs here the first option is the separator title separator the title separator means which sign should be there with the title separator like you can find here and the one option here is force rewrite titles this is for if you want this plugin to force rewrite it. I mean to rewrite titles by themselves. So you don't need, uh, you don't need to enable this because by default you can actually add your title separately however you want because in the single post you will see this plugin and for each single post you can make your proper and exact SEO settings. I will tell you later a few seconds later so the next option here is the home page the home page mean what should be the title template or static I mean uh, SEO setting for the home page so this is by default site name automatically it will pick up the site name like it is written here then the page name then the separator and then the site description so we'll say okay remove this separator etc from here and this the site name and the page name is okay here and below here you can just put two percentage signs like this and then accept this option this is why because it will automatically take a chunk of uh, content warning this variable express cannot be used in this template C okay so here you cannot use it for home page you can write your description generic description here like uh, I will say a blog for travelers who want to travel the world a blog a, a travel blog about immigration and visa tips and everything related to traveling something like this you can write here and then click save changes after that you can go to the next page which is post types click this and this is for uh, I, I know for, for post types you know here you will see the first thing is title then the page then the separator and then the site name so here I will tell you that just remove everything from here and only keep the title because the title is the most important factor in SEO so this is for post what should be actually the structure of your post now here you can add that option for the description meta description template which will be excerpt 
except okay except except means that it will take a junk of code from you know from the content for that specific page and will show with the SEO here so that's it now the next thing is these options you should not touch this option because they are these are not necessary and for pages you should also keep the title here only the title for pages and for media you can also only the title or you can just say no index to the media but you can uh, keep the title as well now that's fine just save changes click save changes so these are site wide settings for different post types and for home page now texo you can see here texo no means this is option is for categories and for tags and different things so by default I will just say no index and no index for tags and no index for categories and for everything because I don't want to index the categories and the tags the reason is because this may create duplicate content issues for me so you can do the same if you don't want then uh, it's your choice but I will recommend you to no follow I mean to no index and follow these categories and takes now archives should also be uh, there is no option okay there is option add no for, uh, no index and follow to the author archives you know okay that's fine so the archives should also be no follow because we don't want to do this it will create duplicate content issues now the next option here is the social social option here you click the social option you need to put all of your URLs here like Facebook page URL Twitter page URL for example I will add like this Facebook dot com flying to world this is my Facebook and this is my Twitter so basically this will help me in SEO by Yoast plugin and all other you can YouTube you can add YouTube and Google Plus and Pinterest all URLs of your site and official pages and businesses so click it this is because you will see okay here you just need to add uh, the username not all the address for the Twitter so this will actually help this plugin understand and verify all of your social networks and then will show the relevant person and the relevant details when uh, you post your content on social media then after you add all your accounts then you can go for Facebook and you can just upload a, an image a title and description for the content which are basically published on f Facebook you know so this is very uh, easy and simple and for Twitter you can also click this option a Twitter card metadata and summary this means that a little bit summary will be there with the post when someone shares that on uh, Twitter and same you can do for you can add Pinterest verification code which you can get from your Pinterest account and post that here and save it so after that your profile will be shared with the post on Pinterest as well and same you can do for Google Plus just uh, get your URL of your Google Plus fan page or business page and put that here and click this option and save changes so you will make all the social media setting here now the next and very important option here is XML sitemaps this plugin is very helpful and great because it actually gives you all in one place you can by default use all the settings for home page and for different types of post and then you can use uh, social media and then you can create XML sitemap XML sitemap is very important this has all of your sites files uh, URLs and all the links and all the content here and just you need to click this option once and it will automatically create a complete sitemap for your site and then you need to just copy this URL 
with control C and submit it to Google Webmaster Tools. Google Webmaster Tools uh, is one of the tools where you can submit the sitemaps and you can see all of your op uh, websites data, uh, search data and keywords and everything. So that we will be discussing later on in this course. We have a complete section for Google Webmaster Tools and just that is okay uh, if you have if you want to uh, I mean lower the entries for the sitemap then you can do here but the thousand is okay and by default it is uh, just okay fine now the next option is advanced if you go to advanced option here you will see enable bread breadcrumbs breadcrumbs is uh, a structure for URLs I mean for website content like uh, if I write how to use SU plugin by Yoast so here you will see the website you know wpbeginner.com and then blog then WordPress you know you can see a separator here so this kind of URL is or the structure for a website is called this breed crumbs so if you want to enable this if this is by default in your website like I have this in my website this website which I'm talking about no it is not here but it is I have on another website so this thing you can enable here uh, very simply and easily and just see, click save changes that's it so this is the simple and very easy and proper setting for Yoast SEO plugin which you can do here I have told you and I'm actually attaching one more uh, one video in the uh, description or in the next text uh, lecture you should also watch that to understand this Yoast SEO plugin more deeply and more accurately